Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here. My name's Ashley and I hope that you're having a great week. Sorry, I don't look great. Uh, I haven't gotten ready in a while, um, but that is completely irrelevant to this video. Uh, so we're just gonna jump right into it so that you don't have to look at me for that long. <laughs> Today I am going to be making a sweatshirt basically. There was this really cute vintage Dior sweatshirt that I liked. It was like 300 something dollars and I was like, eh, that's a lot. So we're obviously not going to buy that one. Um, but I do have an embroidery machine that I have only used one other time. So we're going to use it today. So I have this super cute like baby pink sweatshirt that I got from um, <clears throat> Walmart. And we are going to embroider it with this Chanel logo right here. So when I got my embroidery machine, I originally wanted to make my own embroidery designs and then put them on clothes, obviously like embroider them, but it's a lot more complicated than I thought it was. Um, first of all, you can't even embroider things that aren't like certain files. And then you need like a digitizing thing to like make them into those files and it's like a whole process and i don't even know how to like design the thing and much less like convert it to those files or like digitize it so um we're just gonna buy them off of the internet this may or may not be um intellectual property theft don't tell anybody <laughs> i just thought that this was super cute but it's really expensive and you know it's the middle of a pandemic nobody has 300 dollars to spend on a sweatshirt um, granted, I know that this isn't Dior, but I really liked the Chanel logo, so. Okay, so it does have this little disclaimer here saying that um, the logo that I'm going to be downloading is the intellectual property of the copyright and or trademark holder and is offered as a convenience for lawful use with proper permission from the copyright and or trademark holder only. Um, so then I agree to the terms and whatever, and then it says, Before you use or reproduce this artwork in any manner, you agree to obtain the express permission from the copyright and or trademark holder. Like, I'm gonna, like, call Chanel up and be like, Hey, can I use this logo? That doesn't make sense. Failure to obtain such permission is a violation of international copyright and trademark laws subject to specific financial and criminal pen penalties. Oops. But I mean, it's on here, so I guess maybe I have the permission of... Chanel, I'm not entirely sure, but we're gonna buy it anyway. Okay, so it's two dollars for the logo. You must sign in before you can purchase this item. So I have to make an account. Hold on. Um, I got it in PES because that is what my embroidery machine reads. So my audio got kind of messed up here, but I just downloaded this app called Stitch Buddy so that I could open the PES file on my computer and preview the design before I put it onto the USB drive. And then I took the USB drive, put it in my computer, and exported the file onto the USB drive, and then I took the USB drive out of my computer. Okay, so like I said, I only did this one other time. It was with font that was like preset on my machine, um, and I broke like three needles in the process of trying to do that. So let's hope that this doesn't happen this time. So here I'm just making sure that my hoop is centered and not like crooked, and then I also wanted to show the stabilizer that I had in the back, just a little strip of it. Um, and I was deciding between the two threads and I went with this lighter thread. So now I'm trying to actually get the sweatshirt onto my machine so that I can hook it in like that. It was pretty difficult. Um, and that's what the design is going to look like. And let's get started. So while I was doing this, my thread actually kept getting stuck on this piece of plastic sticking out of my spool of thread. So I had to sand it down and then go over it again but I actually like the way that it turned out with like the double stitching. It made it seem really like thick and high quality, I guess. And here's the final product. Well, this is it. The final product. It's a lot smaller than I wanted it to be. I wanted it to be like way bigger. And it also looks kind of weird because the C is like so much smaller than the Henel. Um, but that's okay. <laughs> wanted a bigger, but my embroidery machine said that it couldn't do the bigger one because of the size of my hoop. So I'm not sure if I can actually get a bigger hoop for my machine, but I'm definitely going to look into it because this isn't like last time I also wanted a larger, uh, what am I like design on my shirt. Um, but again, the hoop was too small and so it couldn't do a bigger design. There was a lot of space left in the hoop though. This definitely could have been a lot bigger and still fit in the hoop but 
whatever i don't tell the machine how to do its job i also definitely struggled with getting this like centered and like straight um so i'm gonna keep working on that if there's an easier like technique for getting it to be straight like the hoop straight on there so that my design is straight um please let me know down below because i could really use that information and i had the same issue last time when i looked online there was not a lot of information on how to get it accurate it was kind of like just move it around until you get it so yeah if anybody has any tips on how to get the hoop straight so that the design is straight please let me know so i guess that that is it i'm definitely going to be trying this out some more with some more logos like maybe like a ysl logo or like a playboy logo or something so when i do those i will likely make a video of it if you want to see videos of that let me know down below i won't make videos if people don't want to see it but if you do want to see it please let me know by commenting down below or by giving this video a thumbs up Either way, it lets me know that you like these videos. And if you do want to see me make more of these kinds of sweatshirts or just embroidering stuff in general, be sure to subscribe so that you don't miss those videos. I guess that is the end of this video. It was just a quick, short little video to make this Chanel dupe DIY Chanel sweatshirt. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope that you have a great rest of your week and a great next week and i will see you all next week in my next video bye